quotation mark. Hey everyone, welcome back to the 18 Woodland Grove project. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video today about the um, sill detail. I want to finish up the discussion about that. So here we're on the interior side of the foundation. Uh, there's the plastic over two inch XPS foam. And I'm going to show kind of how this goes. I, I know I showed this in a previous video, but I just want to go over it last time. So plastic's going to go up. Uh, the six mil poly goes up and then rolls over the foundation to give a complete capillary break between the concrete there that I'm pointing at and the pressure treated sill. Uh, and then when it connects outside, it gives continuity to the air vapor control layer as it goes up. And then I'll show how that connects outside. All right, here we are outside front of the house. Let's start at this corner. So this uh, is the poly right here and that runs all the way. I just cut it flush right here. You can see it right there. Let's see if I can zoom in here. See the sill seal here? The poly is right below it and I cut it flush. So then you see the two by six plate and there's another plate. So what I'm going to do is fill this seam right here and connect that plastic uh, to the sill. And then there's gonna be a rip sill, which is already pre-ripped, that's gonna extend out. And what that's gonna do is cover this foam layer and come out to the face of the zip. And then there's gonna be a piece of zip tape from there and come all the way down uh, after. But we're gonna use liquid flash to connect the plastic, the concrete, and the rip sill in this junction. So we, this is the uh, zip liquid flash. It's a liquid applied WRB um, and it goes, uh, this particular one, they make it in caulking tubes. Uh, this one's in a sausage gun. Adhesive as well as uh, weather resistant barrier, but it's uh, partially vapor open as well. seal that crack right there but I'm also going to uh, make sure it's beaded up so when I put that rip sill on it's gonna squish it out and then I'll kind of flatten it down with just a piece of ripped plywood feel free to make fun of me for the liquid flash that's I placed on my lip And then I'm just going to take and kind of flatten it out and press it all in. The important part is that the junction uh, between the, the plastic uh, coming through is connected to that sill. And then you can see that everything's kind of covered up and then there'll be a piece of zip tape underneath and then come over and cover this whole thing. Back today to show the uh, finish uh, taping this joint at the sill. The sill and the concrete in one kind of monolithic uh, liquid flash material. So uh, now I gotta, it's been pretty dry. I wanted to make sure all the moisture, any moisture that might have been in there is all out. It can dry to the interior as well, but I just want to make sure that was nice and dry. And that's gonna look like, like this. Um, so it's gonna go up and then roll down onto the liquid flash. So that way I have a continuous uh, air and vapor water control layer from the concrete to that sill, rolls back up onto the zip, 
and then all the way up and around and then eventually all the way back down so it's a nice continuous layer and obviously this was all rolled on it's got a nice uh, seal here so it's going to be a great connection gonna get it get it on hand tight first and then uh, roll it after and now I'm just gonna take and roll that edge under and attach it to the liquid flash. Now this isn't perfectly even, it kind of in and out a little bit, just the nature of it. So if you set this on there, it may or may not sit flat. So I kind of do it in two stages, one on the panel, one on the uh, sill. Thanks for watching this video and in the next video I'm going to be discussing the Shuko European window and doors and all of the details to flash and install them.